Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dating in the Wild. Today, we have a new friend with us, one of my friends. This is Danny. Hi. Hi. How's it Hi. going? It's going great. I get to see you for a few minutes. I yes. love it. Yes. Come closer. Okay. All right. So Danny is going to share with us her Dating in the Wild story. So, all right. Who is this person? Well, I'm going to try to use a pseudonym and just go with C, but if I accidentally say his name, it's no big deal. We're, sure. you know, we're amicable. It's fine. Oh, good. Okay. And how did you meet this person? Well, that's why I chose this particular story. Besides that he was a, signif- he was a significant person in my life, but also mm-hmm. our, uh, the way we met was interesting. Um, definitely out in the wild. I was driving to my best friend's house, my best friend, Sonia, and I had just broken up with somebody and, you know, was kind of just getting through that. And I was picking Sonia up to go to dinner and I'm pulling onto her street and there's a convenience store right there to the right. And I see this super hot guy, super hot. Mm. Super. It's where you're like, oh my god! You know what I mean? You kind of like nearly stop dead in right. traffic, and he sees me seeing him. I wasn't subtle. I was like, hello, okay. and he was a you know straightforward kind of a guy too. So he saw me and he whistled, <laughs> and so wow. I yes, and so I pulled in. I was like, all right then. I pulled into the convenience store, he got in the car, and he said, where are we going? He, <laughs> wait, he got into your car? He got in the car and said, where are we going? And, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I am careful about strangers now. At the time, I was in my 20s, and C is just an incredibly charming person. He's, he's not scary at all. Okay, so, so you got to you got a like decent vibe from him right away. Yeah, okay. Definitely. There was no shadiness except for this whole, yeah, I'm going to pick you up on the street corner. Yes, I am. <laughs> so he said, where are we going? Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, I'm going to dinner with my friend. Let's go. So picked up my best friend and, uh, I might have called to warn her. No, this was probably pre cell phone to tell you oh. the truth. So she probably just got a surprise. And we went to dinner, you know, I was trying to remember where, but I don't. This really was decades ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and enjoyed ourselves. And after dinner, you know, there, there were a few cocktails involved. And uh, we went back to my house. And it was a duplex. Uh, I, I can't remember. We had that duplex for so long that there were many different ways that we all lived in it. But I think at the time, like, Mom lived upstairs and me and Sonia lived downstairs or... Something like that. And um, so eventually at some point my mother came down and she met him and she was enamored and charmed because he really was like an amazing, amazing guy. Interesting. Um, Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, after the evening was over, I I took him home that evening and we dropped him off with me and my best friend still, you know, I had her with me the whole time. Mm -hmm. Dropped him off at his apartment and... uh, my best friend was kind of like, are you going to see that guy again? Oh, right. Yeah, we dated for a, a decade. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off and on. It wasn't, uh, well, it, we were mainly on, but it wasn't committed most of that time. We just, we were together a long time. Sure. Wow. So, so in that initial meeting, you know, after picking up your friend, it wasn't like you were alone with him, no, you know, right away. All, no, it was all very, very easy mm. it was very easy for he and i had a real connection so it was really really easy for us to get along with each other it was it was obvious from the start that like this guy and i click wow okay let's let's rewind then and go back to that very initial meeting was there like this just chemistry upon seeing each other uh there was definitely a stop dead in your tracks hello i mean mm-hmm for, it sounds like for both of you. For both of us, I guess. I mean, you know, I, I don't know if you just saw a cute girl and got in the car. I, I, I really don't know. But I, I do know that there was never a moment of awkwardness, never a moment of silence. Mm-hmm. 
this is somebody that I really, really connected with. We were just a lot, a lot alike. Interesting. And so, um, I guess technically he didn't ask you or you didn't ask him. He, I mean, I mean, he did say, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? In the car. <laughs> Come on, baby, let's go. Wow. That's yeah. fascinating. And, um, now are you guys just still friends, still in contact? So here's how we are now. I, I don't talk to him anymore. But it's not because there's any problem. There really isn't. I mean, we knew each other for so long that it's just nearly family. Um, what happened was we, we, we dated this on and off push pull thing for 10 years, like I say, for like a decade. And we had a, <sighs> not, you know, not, not, not simple relationship. Um, and we were both tired, and man, both of us, after 10 years of dating, just, we kind of decided it wasn't ever going to go anywhere, if it hadn't yet, and mm. we both married the next person we met. I mean, like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> we were so tired. It was just like, yeah. okay, like, get off the merry-go-round. Sure. And I, I loved my husband very much, mm. and uh, part of the reason, and I think this is important to talk about because it's been uh, a theme in my life. It's really important when you're dating somebody to know if they want kids or not. Mm -hmm. And he did, and I did not. Mm. And there were a lot of other reasons, because, you know, sure. he was crazy. But, uh, and he's crazy, and I'm crazy. And there were a lot of reasons why things, there are a lot of reasons. But kind of the main cementing factor was that he wanted kids. Mm. So he got married, and he has three kids now, and everything's great. Yeah. And we really... Um, we're very, very lucky because both of our spouses, after we got married, understood that we were very close and didn't mind and let us go ahead and continue a friendship for another 10 years. Hmm. So he was literally in my life for 20 years. And um, there just came a time where they kind of, they moved. I think they went to go sure. be with her family or something. Sure. And there's no reason to keep up contact. It's not yeah. that anything's wrong. It was just right. kind of like, you can't take the kind of relationship we had and translate it forever into a friendship mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it never really kind of was. Sure. So the time just kind of came and went. It just kind of came that it was yeah. like, all right, after all of this, I am thrilled you were in my life. I wouldn't have missed a moment of it. He, was mm -hmm. a, he is a brilliant person, just mm -hmm. wonderful, funny, and just Every minute with him was exciting, and I, I have no regrets. Oh, great. Wow. It's almost like a, a seize the moment kind of thing right from the beginning, you know, with you driving along, and he's, you know, you, the two of you seeing each other. He really, like, seized the moment and hopped into he's your... He's not scared. <laughs> yeah, hopped into your car. And, um, you know, again, I don't know how that may pan out, in today's world. But... I'm not saying everybody should do it. I'm not saying <laughs> that. I, I wish people would be careful, but... Uh... Yes, for sure. But I feel as though, like you said, you felt like there was no creepiness. You felt not comfortable. At all. I mean, I was literally blocks from my best friend's house. This mm -hmm. guy was going to get in my car and go straight to my best friend's house with mm -hmm. me. I wasn't going to be alone with him for any period of time. Mm -hmm. So... Yes. And sometimes you kind of go with your gut, and it works. Yeah, it wasn't. He and I are both very straightforward people. Where yeah. Neither of us are scared to say if we like somebody, mm. you know. So that's it. We saw each other. We liked each other. Bam. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> so uh, thank you for sharing that story with us, Danny. Sure. Yeah. All right. So hopefully some of you out there might seize the moment and see what happens. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.